Now we're gonna change our content based off of the URL, otherwise known as a dynamic URL. So first of all, we're gonna say object equals to product.objects.get ID equals to one. So we're setting a default so we can see just exactly how this works. So object equals to OBJ, and then we are gonna render out this basic template from this basic model. And then finally in our URL, this is what it looks like. But what we wanna do is make it dynamic. That is, I wanna be able to pass in an ID here. So if I put in one or two, this content will actually change based off of that. To do it, we just put in these brackets here, and then we declare the type. So in my case, I'm gonna use an integer. You can also use str, you can also use slug, and there's a few others I'll reference in a moment. So integer, and then I'm gonna give it a name. In my case, I'll say ID. You can also say my ID or pretty much anything else that you'd like. ID is default, right? So that's sort of standard is using something like ID, or if you were using a slug type, you would do slug colon slug. But we're gonna use int for integer and just pass in that ID. What this does is it passes in a new argument to our view. So our view has the request by default and it passes in that new argument of ID, which we declared the name of. Again, if you changed the name here, like my ID, you would have to change the name on your argument right there. We'll leave it like that just for illustration purposes. But what's gonna happen now is our object is gonna change based off of that ID because we're gonna pass that variable in just like that. So we save that and I refresh in my page. I go to page one, I get a, a, a dynamic view. I mean, I need to make sure that I save everything here. Uh, but this is an error that if I actually didn't update my view function, this is what happens, right? So I'll save this and I'll replay that error in just a second. But if I refresh in here, I now see that, what do you know? It's now a dynamic URL and it's actually doing the lookup based off of what's in the database. So if we go into our products and click on any of them, we see that it's also doing that same sort of lookup. Um, granted, the URL is slightly different, but the number is um, iterating. So again, if I actually change this to ID and refreshed in here, I get this problem, this dynamic lookup, or our view, this is really just our view function here, doesn't know what this keyword argument is, so we just have to make sure that we put it in here.